It is your girl, Nothing's Impossible, 77, straight out of Brooklyn, New York. And I am just coming through with another video. Wow. I am so proud of myself. And I have to tell you, I'm proud of you guys too because it's a lot of the love that y'all have shown me that has given me the encouragement to come out here and do another video. You know, um, thank you so much to many of you some of you are new subscribers some of you are are my subscribers from eight years ago but i'm so grateful and it's so funny i'm in the same spot that i was when i did the last video and if you guys know how big brooklyn new york is you will be like what are the chances i am literally in the same exact spot that i was when i did the last video this is amazing to me it literally is amazing to me and for my girl my my uh, wonderful um, now I'll call her now um, who also suffered a great loss she shared with me recently and uh, she could relate completely to what I'm going through with having lost my dad uh, she said I'm driving in her neck of the woods. Well, she could tell where I'm at because I'm in, I'm, I'm in her neck of the woods again <laughs> Anyway guys A lot of you were so grateful for me to share my little newly uh, My new you know uh, newfound words that I'm very very amateur at which is Hebrew and uh, It was just a great video all together. It was a great video this channel is only for those that really want to be here you know I'm not I'm not on YouTube for views I'm not on YouTube for money that's for sure because I initially joined because I felt like I had you know things in my in my left in my heart that I wanted to share and uh, you know so you're not gonna be seeing any more makeup reviews I, well I never did a makeup review but I did uh, tutorials, makeup tutorials. That's done. I'm not doing those anymore. Um, or any longer, should I say. say. Uh, I'm not here for that. When I come on here, it'll just be to talk about things that really are on my heart. In my heart, should I say. Something smells like it's burning. Mm. You smell it? Yeah. I turned on the heat. Mm. That's weird. What's this? I don't know. That's interesting. Anyway, guys, I turn on the heat. It smells like something's burning. That's the. It's always something because I don't drive this car. I don't drive it. Hardly do. But it's good to know that when I have a situation like I do right now, and I need to get somewhere to get these uh uh to get this exam done, that I don't have to depend on anyone. I have to be there in 15 minutes. So let's pray that I make it anyway you know guys I'm so glad I started this YouTube channel because I started the channel I don't know I just saw people sharing their lives and so forth and I decided I want to share my life as well however I'm letting you all know it's serious out here you know for any of you that's been following me for eight years or longer, well, yeah, it's a little over eight years, but whoever's been following me for years, it doesn't have to be eight years. It could be five years. It could be three years. It could be three weeks. Well, not three weeks, because that point would not be for you. If you've been following me for years and you're at the same spot you were in when you started following me in life, if you haven't moved up, you know, one iota forward, if you're at the same mental level, if you're at the same thought process level, if you are still doing the same things that you was doing eight years ago that weren't benefiting you at all, then you have a problem, okay? We have to talk real. 
you know, we are, you know, for the most part, a lot of grown folk follow me, not children, you know. And I, you know what? If there's ch uh, teenagers on here or, at, you know, adolescents that learn that can learn from me, let them learn because this is not a channel that that can't be watched by a certain age group. I'm 100% G-rated. There's no PG-13 on here. I'm G-rated. Uh, there's nothing that. Uh, a child can't hear, uh, you know, uh, unless, you know, it's maybe things about life, but I'm not an X-rated person, an R-rated person. Like I said, I'm not even PG-13. If you are in the same place or position that you were in years ago when you started following me and you are still doing the same things, still making the same mistakes, then shame on you, okay? Shame on you. I'm not even saying that you, you know, I'm saying if you're still doing the same things, okay? I'm not saying that you, 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 you tried and you fell back. At least you tried. But you should not still be doing the same things that you were doing. Because, you know, with growth, with physical growth, you should also have mental growth, okay? You should have spiritual growth, okay? Now, I serve Yah. As according to his name, Psalm 68, verse 4. Let's not get it braided, twisted, dreadlocked. Let's not get it crocheted. Let's not get it uh, wash and curled. Let's not get it any of that. Don't get it twisted. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of who I serve. I'm not ashamed to say who I serve. Yeah. Okay, because I, you know, all these conspiracy theory uh, videos on YouTube make you afraid to put up your hand because somebody's gonna say, oh my goodness, she put up a sign. Or she, you know, if I point my finger, oh, that's a sign. There's no signs or symbols on this channel. <laughs> The only sign is Yahusha Hamashiach crucified and shed his blood that is all over me. The blood of Yahusha Hamashiach is all over me. It's all over my doorposts. It's all over everything that I love. I serve Yahuwah. If you see anything that looks like I serve Hasatan, the devil, it's a lie. I rebuke the devil in the name of Yahusha Hamashiach. I serve Yahuwah, Yahusha Hamashiach, his son, and the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit. I do not serve the devil who is the father of lies. Let's get it straight. I want everybody to understand because we have gotten paranoid and I am not speaking to anyone in particular and I'm not throwing shade and I'm not sending subliminal messages. I'm just talking how I feel in my left, in my heart, okay? I remember that I looked at a video and I was like, oh my goodness, I did this or I did that. People might think that I'm this. And it's that's not, I'm not blaming anyone but myself because I've gotten so caught up in what people think. The enemy can confuse you in a lot of different ways, people. Now everybody's like, oh look, they put up this sign or that sign. If I do anything with my fingers, my hands, my eyeballs or anything else, I serve Yahuwah. Yahusha Hamashiach, Yahuwah the Father, Yahuwah, Yahusha Hamashiach, the Messiah who died and was crucified, hung on a tree, Galatians 3.13, and the Ruach HaKodesh, the Comforter, the Holy Spirit that lives within me. That is who Jackie, me, that's who I serve. So don't worry about no colors, don't worry about no backgrounds, don't worry about no hand gestures. I'm telling you who I serve. So get it straight. And that's how I feel these people should deal with it. If people making videos and saying that, oh, this and that, maybe, maybe they can't, they can't, re they can't retract it because that's who they serve. I don't serve no devil. I ain't no friend of no devil. And if I find out that you are the devil, you getting rebuked and you getting out of doubt, you getting away from me. Now, I know I sounded angry, but sometimes you have to be angry. The Bible says that you can be angry, but don't sin. Okay? Sometimes you can be in, indignant. You can feel, you know, troubled in your, in your, in your nafash. 
about things you know because i really you know these conspiracy theory videos are very helpful but anything that is done in excess can be harmful no matter what it is the only thing that can't be harmful in excess is serving yahuwah because when i go to shamahim which is heaven i will be serving him day and night which way will we be going till when we turn to the right okay because i'm gonna make a right and get off, get away from this traffic because I don't want to be in this traffic. I want to go down to the... Yeah. I can see it's nothing but traffic up there. Sorry about that, guys. So, do we have that clear? This is basically what the, I want this video to be about. I want everyone to understand who I serve. I serve the Most High, our Creator. Now, if you have a problem with anything that I say and you're offended, I cannot apologize to you for my belief. But I would like you to go and prove me wrong if you want to. And then you'll feel comfortable within yourself because I know what I believe. I know in whom I believe. My alarm clock didn't wake me up this morning. Everything that is around me and everything that is going on in the universe didn't happen with a big explosion. You know, I wasn't able to have the two children I have and carry them for nine months. And they were in my womb. And then after 36 weeks, oh, it's been so long because my youngest child is going to be 30 this year. But after 36 weeks or whatever weeks, they were due to be born. I did not. Um, <laughs> I have to laugh. Um, I did not. Um. I do not believe that came from a big bang, okay? No. When I get up in the morning, I try my very best to say thank you, Yahuwah. Because I do know who woke me up this morning. That's how I feel. You know, whenever, you know, I get to hear the, the voices of my grandchildren and my children, I say thank you, Yahuwah, because I know that it is by His grace and by His mercy that my grandchildren and my children are safe. Everything that happens to me, every good thing that happens to me, I give him all the glory and all the praise. I take no credit for anything good that happens to me. And do I get upset when I see people that don't get it? Yes, I do. But then I turn around and I say, you know, that could be me. That could be me. That could be me loving on the creation more than the creator. That could be me. I've been guilty of it. Yes, I have. So that's why, you know, as believers, you know, we can't just be beating up on people talking about, oh, you should believe and all that. I don't like that kind of stuff either. I don't believe that you should be beat up on people that are non-believers. I, I don't, I'm far from that. I don't agree with it. Everybody was at, my daughter even brought it up the other day. She said, mommy, remember when you was professing Christianity? And, you know, I said, I do. I remember. But thanks for the reminders this way, right? Or should I go down to the floor? Yeah, go down to okay. the light. Anyway. Yeah. So, guys, if this is it. You know, I told y'all I had to be somewhere in 15 minutes and praise be to the most high. I think we're going to make it. So, um, it's a quick video. Uh, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. Now, I can't tell you where that came from. Maybe by the time I put this video up, I would have already researched it. But I do know that it's true. You can't keep doing what you're doing and, and think that you're going to get something different. Okay? If, if, you, if you blend bananas, if you blend bananas, you're going to have a banana, a banana smoothie. You can't blend a whole bunch of bananas and think that you're going to have a strawberry smoothie. You're going to have a banana smoothie, honey. And if you keep on doing it, thinking you're going to get a, 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 a different flavor, then something's wrong with you. And it's not me being rude or mean. I'm just telling you the truth, honey. I love you. I tell you in love. You can't keep on blending bananas and saying, I'm going to get an orange. Where's the place at? It's the next block? Oh, no. It's two blocks and the bus is stuck here. It's two blocks and the bus is stuck here. See, that's how the enemy is. That's why I thought, should I turn here? But it's okay, because guess what? The enemy tries to get you. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're supposed to be there in five minutes. But it's okay. If we don't make it there, then we don't make it. But we, we're going to make it. All right, my beautiful people. 
Please realize that your alarm clocks are not waking you up in the morning. Please realize and give the creator his due diligence and his respect. That's the least we can do. He keeps you safe. He keeps your children safe. He gives us a brand new day. Keep your eyes on him. The Bible says he will give you perfect peace if you keep your mind on him. I've never had peace like this in my life before. It's to the left, right? I've never had peace like this in my whole entire life, like what I experience right now. Never. I got a parking spot too. Now look at that. Now look at that. Even that is a miracle in itself. Guys, I am at my destination. And, you know, I just hope that if my video, if this video reaches one person, then I feel like I have accomplished what I have to accomplish. Stop glorifying man. Stop worshiping man. I know you love that man, and I know you love that woman. But no matter what Oprah said, because she said she had a change of heart when she read that Yahuwah is a jealous Yahuwah. Well, he, he said he's jealous, and that's just that. And he can say what he wants. He created the entire world and everything in it. And he said he's jealous. He's jealous that he made you. And you gonna lift up and worship what he gave you more than you worship him? Are you serious? Don't worry about what people think. Don't worry about what people say. Don't worry about what people say you are or what you do. Know who you are. Because at the end of the day, Yahuwah is the one that's going to judge. He has the last word, honey. He's got the first, the last, and the in-between word. But he makes the decision where you spend eternity. So you better know that and don't worry about what people think. This is a this is a rough road, but it's all going to be worth it. It's going to all be worth it. Every single bit of it. I love each and every one of you for free. May the Most High keep you, shine his light upon you, and may he remove the spiritual cataract from the eyes of many that are blinded because these are some serious times that we're living in look at all the things that's happening around us it ain't no joke honey it ain't no joke i love each and every one of you for free later well guys i i don't know what's wrong with my eye this eye is really irritated and it won't stop being red. But I am uh -uh. all this stuff on my lip. I have a lot of stuff around my lip. I'm going into surgery. Uh, I'm just waiting for my blood work to come back. And um, I am not putting, mm, mm, that's terrible. I bit the lipstick off and it went all over my lip, look, hunger. This is what I come home to after having had a rough day, guys. This is what it's all about. There, the, this video clip says it all about being loved. 